close to the halfway point at the 2021 U.S. Poker Open. Our coverage continues. It's the final table of event number six, the eight game mix. Everyone in the series looking up to one Joe McKeon. Welcome in to the Poker Go studio in Las Vegas, Nevada, where I look up to Brent Hanks. Oh, it's very touching, Jeff. Thank you. It's because you're tall. Oh, well. I'm 5'10", yeah. by the way. Uh, taking a look at our tournament format, it is brought to you by PokerCoaching.com. Eight games in this mix. We're playing horse, plus No Limit Hold'em, plus Pot Limit Omaha, plus Deuce to Seven triple draw six 30 second time banks per player and Brent 68 entries in this one I think I set a line at 48 and a half and, and you my friend you took the over for a reason of course well number one you know you're a sucker uh, number yeah. two come on Jeff where else can you play eight game at the Mecca right here inside the poker go studio it's beautiful it's a palace no one else is running this sort of event. Not at all surprised with this immaculate turnout. Hey, you know what we have to get to, don't you? How about the only player to have cashed in three U.S. Poker Open events? And that would be... The Eagle, baby, Steve Zolotow, huh? Look at him. Let us take a look at his first week. Fifth place in event number one for $76,000. Fourth place in event number three for $77,000. And another cash in event number six, the 10K eight game. This is maybe the top storyline throughout the entire series. It's of course the top storyline in the entire series. Steve Zalatow is back in a big way, guaranteed a top five finish, as you mentioned, Jeff, on the leaderboard for the U.S. Poker Open. He's also number three as far as trending players are concerned <laughs> over at our partner at the Hendon Mob. How about that? Does he ever age, by the way? No, definitely not. And you want to know how I know that? How's that? The same mustache has mm. been around since the 70s. Check this out, Jeff. Can we okay. pull this up? Let's do it. Yeah. The old school Stevie Z. There he is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's huh? beautiful. In the saloon. That's where it all started. That's his partner, Grace, still together to this day after 40 plus years. Little gambling in the saloon. That is one Steve Zalatow. Now, we know that after this event wraps up, Stevie Z will move into the top five in the U.S. Poker Open standings. Those current standings through five events are as follows. Mm. Joe McKeon leads the way on top after a win and a third place finish. Jake Daniels, Joey Weissman, Sam Soverell, and John Reardon are other event winners. Reardon right outside the top five. Brent, it has been all Joe McKeon early on. Yeah, a runaway train that is Joe McKeon. I don't think he can be stopped. If our guy Steve Zalatow can win this thing today, he will take the outright lead. McKeon, though, remainder of the series is a, a large portion of no-limit events. He's a specialist there. This sort of lead, Jeff, I just don't think anyone can catch him. you got to call him the favorite at this point. Hey, you know who's back at the U.S. Poker Open? Our friend, Maria Ho. She has the call yeah. alongside Ali Najad. Final table coverage of the 10K eight-game mix starts right now. Hello everyone and welcome to event number six. It's the Ocho, not an obscure sports network, but rather the eight game mix. And the legends came out and they bested the young guns. Ali Najad alongside Maria Ho, pleased to bring you coverage of today's continuing US Poker Open festivities for 2021 and the Eagle himself, Steve Zalatow. The trophy crafted in his likeness, just about the gilded bird and 50K going to the overall US Poker Open winner. And he is your chip leader, just by a hair over Elia Lesra, Daniel Negreanu, Eric Sagstrom, and Richie Sklar in that order. Sklar on fumes coming in, but managed to punch his ticket to the final table. This is Zalatow's third final table in the U.S. Poker Open. Elezra, a mixed game specialist, four bracelets to his name. There are 12 total in this field. Zalatow has a couple of them. Of course, you see the four there for Ellie. Kid Poker Daniel Negranu has six bracelets of his own. If you're unfamiliar with our tournament format, feast your eyes. 
Eight game is horse, which is Hold'em, Omaha, Raz, Stud, and Stud eight or better. We throw in Pot Limit Omaha, Deuce to seven, Triple Draw, and No Limit Hold'em. We begin here on level 16, playing Stud eight or better. Split pot game, and Maria, I know you like yourself some mix. That's why we brought you in today. I'm gonna put you on the spot here and now. Who do you like? I mean, it's hard to go against Steve Zolotow. It's like it was an omen that the trophy is an eagle, and he has oh, really looking, shown up apologize. in all of these One, events so far at the U.S. Poker Open. He's got the chip lead. He's apologize. got the experience under the belt, and uh, I'm going to go with Steve. But he's got stiff competition to his left in the form of the four-time mixed game bracelet winner, Elia Lezra, who is right there with him. Those of you unfamiliar with Stud 8 or better, you must produce five cards, unique, eight right. or lower, no. in order to qualify he got, he got for money. low. No, he put it away. No. no he bet 50. Oh, he still has I another. I okay. You should raise him. Well, I was trying to raise him. Okay. Okay. He doesn't. Raise him on okay. 4th Street. I forgot well, what I got. It's going to be an easy call for him anyway. <laughs> I don't want to fold. What do you have? I check. Check. 30. Okay. I'm going to pretend you all went 30. 35. Well, that was a little bit of a nothing. peculiar situation right off the top there, Maria. Yeah. I've done it. Zalatow was three suited with King Queen and wow. exposed his hand inadvertently. Oh, no, yeah. Sklar is already cool. all in and it's a race. brutal. He has King Jack yeah, high. Diamond and it's a race. Get up. You're going to win when you get up. Get up. The queen I'm is getting up because I can't see over that monster stack. He's got way the back best. Door low possibilities. Can, can He's got four him, higher cards. Can, can I put him out here like that? No, you're crushing. <laughs> no, game. What? What's so no, funny? He's crushing. Here comes the king or the queen. Or the diamond. Uh, right. Sklar hits a pair of jacks on 5th Street. Zalatow picks up Hurry a third up, low card. Yeah, low draw. Ooh. Now a fourth low Ooh, card what? for Zalatow. Ooh, hey, 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 that's that's right. no, what? You got a pair, man. I understand. Okay. Scar refusing to be optimistic, despite I, I all of Elezra's insistence. Streetcar line. line. You want me to turn it? Four up? cross. Yes. Is there some weird way to? I got a lot. Chop it up. Let's go. That's it. It's over. Let's go. Let's not waste anybody's time. You couldn't catch that. He just got the runner. runner Scar runner, 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 will live runner, to fight runner. another day, and Maria, he knows all of these guys pretty well. They. Play over in Bobby's room, little 200, 400, 300, 600 mix with eight, some regularity. Low. King, queen, eight, I have eight low. I have two eights. Yeah, I really am not surprised to see so much we, we of the old game. guard plus Dichy's the cash game the regulars room. making yeah. Yeah. this yeah, final table. Been, Obviously, they have a lot of experience playing mixed because those games <laughs> run <laughs> regularly. <laughs> and and what's we've got Eric Sagstrom in there, too, who's a little bit younger than his final table is. But no he Tom has a lot of experience as well. I know that he's always been in Bobby's room. There's a look at the payouts. The champ will receive 100 83,000, 54 4 yeah. on deck for fifth. And there were some other names that didn't manage to make it to the final table, the official final table. David ODB Baker, Nick Wachenti in seventh and sixth, respectively. And on the money bubble, none other than Crazy Mike Thorpe. If you play mix in Vegas, you know that name. Look at this. I'm going to bring it in. Sklar eliminated him. 10,000. Crazy Mike and I once played Heads Up Limit Hold'em, and the loser had to dress up in a costume of the winner's choice. I lost. Crazy Mike put me in a dog costume. I feel like that's tame. <laughs> that I, I, it is. He honestly just procrastinated on getting the costume, and it was the only thing he could come up with. George, you had the jack. You had the high card. I did. Johnny Ligner. <laughs> That's Johnny Ligner. What's Johnny? Jack six four diamonds is Johnny yeah. Ligner? No, it's so. <laughs> he was Lignering. Eric Sagstrom hails originally from Gothenburg, that, Sweden. <laughs> Over 800,000 in career tournament wow. earnings. Really and that avid sports so better likes to hit the George. golf course. He's my neighbor wow. out here in Vegas. So Not exactly next door, George. but close right. enough. For the viewers at home. Yeah. Way over he your head. He spends my money so much. George? Well. They both play like <laughs> they lost in I hope Richie wins this tournament. Look look at that stack. <laughs> I want him to win this tournament. That would be fun. 
Daniel, they both played the last one like Ted Forrest. They both have king, queen, and hole. When you catch yeah. a bad one, it's a good one. I'm getting broke, Annie. And... No shame. No well, shame. Th there would be. A Lesnar no, three no wheel cards. Jack it up. Complete Completes. And these are, of course, 10K with the limits 5,100 reflected at the top of your screen. Lesra actually brought it in. My apologies. Negranu completed I call. it. Well, that looks like, is that a bet I can raise? Right? I call. Forward motion? <laughs> <laughs> made the call here on 4th Street. Negranu made the only low card. Lesra check called on 5th. He's staring at a pair after having picked up a seven uh -huh. low draw, which he now makes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to bet now. No. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's how they said it in the movie. The movie, yeah. Eddie Murphy. Uh -huh. Appropriately Daniel, checks it. You're dead. I'm going to check in the dark. Check dark. Let me see. Wait. I put it here. I'm dead already. I have five seconds. Then I look. <laughs> and then you squeeze. And no chance Daniel's folding after having paired his eight oh, in the yeah. hole here for high. What do I want? The Lesnar was looking for oh, an ace or a six oh, oh, to make a two-way hand and scoop. You. Deuces is good. Why well, have six low and deuces? Take it then. I got a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong wheel. Wait, am I supposed to do too bad this one? Or this one? If you don't help, Daniel. What do you have? King high? You're trying to bluff me? Yes. Like it was gonna work. Daniel, you mm. wouldn't call with ducks. I was gonna call you with deuces. Really? Why not? A pair's a pair. It's hard to make a pair. Stop trying All to right, PLO. Hello. 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 One more hand of uh, stud eight and then PLO. Uh, or two more, I don't know. Uh -huh. this uh -huh. this Daniel, not the only <laughs> Hall of Famer around here, Maria. Right here, in the barber shop. Uh, yeah, yeah, is that right? When he tells the joke in there. Yeah. Uh, for those that don't know, Maria also. You Member of a Poker Hall of Fame. Tournament, the cards have been there. Now they put them here. Women. You know, Why would you do that? Why so, would you do that? Why would you so, slide it? I just, I'm not trying to slide it. I just want to clarify. Because I'm actually not age eligible for the regular yeah, Hall of Fame yet. Now you're being so, defensive. <laughs> so now, I just wanted people to know. So there's no age requirement for the <laughs> women in Poker Hall of Fame? You women can be whatever in Poker age? Hall of Fame, I believe, is 35 and up. Really, you know what it should be. Could give them 29. Back other chips so I don't make a mistake. Right. Yeah. Just, and then that way everyone just squeaks in because everyone's 29. No That's true. Here. Especially if you live in L.A. Actually, if you live in L.A., everyone is ah, 25. I call, I call. He's yeah. Got yeah. He's got money left. We just tried to set it up so we wouldn't okay. have a problem. Okay. He called. Not only me. A small spot. It's okay. The same I bet blind. Okay, we got to give Ellie a penalty, too. Sklar oh, open completed with the three of diamonds no, as the bring in. I, I bet. Was he bet throw throw them all I already bet. They uh, called. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I still need to be in front. Oh, in front? Oh. I don't know what I have. <laughs> we can put him face up now. Oh, face up. Okay. Uh, ah! Good. Here comes. Okay. Just give him the three of, th th three of spades right now. Let's get this over with. Was three suited. The luck box. Boom! Ace jack four. Now he has ace king high up against a pair of eights. <laughs> Big improvement for Sklar. There's a five. Ooh, there's a five. Two pair. Oh, yeah. Oh, as Mike Sexton would say, ultimate sweat. Oh, your spade. Sklar goes to eights and fours, now, and Alezra has a lot of ways to get a piece say, of this. Say it, Eric. What? Give him the brick. Give him the brick already. All right, fuck. You, you look at it. Don't get confused about who's. Uh oh, it's not a brick. It's a, it's Put the card down in your box because you guys are fucking things up. <laughs> All right, so okay. chop it up. Chop, chop. Elezra <laughs> makes the low. It doesn't matter what Sklar picks up here house. on the river. Full in housing. Back three. Black three, baby. 50, 50. Uh, yeah, three of spades is good. I'll yeah. give it to you. Just be glad you didn't make the flush. Because you made the full house. And ah. you really <laughs> On one hand, you All know, right, Ali, it's beneficial when you're on the short stack to be on a game where you have the potential to chop. Yeah. But if you keep chopping and never scoop one, like you you're not really going to be able to get like, out of the danger right zone <laughs> chip-wise. <laughs> <laughs> but just prolonging Slar's potentially inevitable demise. Yes, Klar with just one big blind. Interesting story on Rich Sklar. He's got over 400,000 in career tournament earnings a professional a gambler what about golf and horse racing he actually yeah, yeah. got a scholarship 
to USC. And as he describes it, he was there for five minutes before he left for the racetrack, never to return. Right there. They tricked us by moving the card. I know Nick Anyone who's knows all the lines. ever so been in the poker right? room, especially during Which the one? last eight years, he says. I was born witness to uh, America, Richie's often polarizing to political and slants. A big step downwards. And he fired huge I'm on out. Trump to Come win on, baby. Hot dice. his first term. Is nine a good card in this game? And 20 scooped death. all the monies. 20 or 50. And I think he gave all those monies back and potentially then some. Now he's got enough betting on to Trump to win indeed. the second Please term. Meanwhile, Scar the bring in here. Ace Queen buried. Sackstrom completes it with wired oh, tennis. Wow. Oh, okay. I just, was, I just was showing him. Wow. Is that an eight, Eric? All right, let's get it in there. Wow. Well, I have an ace. Okay. Oh. Richie's ready to go. What's he got? Got two overs to the tens. Ten and what? Ten two tens. tens. And some running low two potential. Overs. Got life. Go. Three overs, king and king. Both players catch a king on fourth. Sklar now could work toward Broadway, okay. but the tens are a little busy. No, you don't have Back any overs low. anymore. Backdoor low. A nine will seal pants. it for you, Richie. A nine and you can go home. <laughs> the party <laughs> is <laughs> over here. The party's over, ladies and gentlemen. A nine at any time. Sackstrom Ooh. made two pair, and now what? Sklar hits threes. Ace, queen, or king? Or, king. or three. Or three, yeah. Or three. Lots of Clark stuff. still needing yeah, he some help to here. Give him a 10. Yeah, get a 10 so I don't have to look. Oh. Here you look. No, no, unimproved. No, no, and Sklar wants Ellie to squeeze this one as his fate hangs in the balance. Or not. Two across. Oh, two across. Uh, deuce of three. It's a three of diamonds. Deuce of three. Oh, my God. Oh, deuce of diamonds. I looked over there and saw a diamond and this diamond. I said, yes. He said two across, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I didn't mean that, I meant it's a... Sackstrom <laughs> confused. Yeah, Deuces and threes squeeze. and aces are none three, across. Yeah. <laughs> As Richie <laughs> makes trips to stay alive. To be fair, Maria, yeah. Eric said he ah. wanted Rich to win the tournament. That is true. Okay, let's see. Wow. And I'm not surprised, obviously, to see okay. them being as talkative as they are. Ali, obviously, they're very familiar with each other. And we all know mixed game players to be a little bit more outgoing at the table, a little less serious. We're all lunatics. <laughs> I'd have it no other way. I had a lot of so any any of these boxes? Also cashing in this event, Alan Richardson, just right inside here. the bubble, what, a little did, over 20K. Mike Wattell, a prolific mixed audience, game player, you know? Know. along with well, Mike Gordinsky, like Gordo, as he's known, at ninth and eighth respectively for 27,200. David Baker, who we mentioned earlier, picked up 34,000. And Quagenti on the outside looking in picked up just about 41K. We have switched they over to Pot Limit Omaha time. now. Time Quarter 50 blinds with a 50K ante. And back and all that. Double suited up front, not good enough for Zolotow. Just behind him, a little bit better version of a double suited hand for Elezra, who decides to limp. Three Broadway cards and a deuce dangler for Sklar. With 240K, he decides he won't spin it here. Okay. You players. Sackstrom <laughs> limps, and Negreanu with two kings checking back. 10-4 tray, all hearts. You can see we're using the four colored decks. The only player with a flush, Elezra. Check. A straight flush Check. redraw. He checks back. Yeah, in a multi-way situation, having kind of that middling flush may not necessarily be good enough for Elezra to go three streets well, with, and that's why he elects to go for a bet now on the turn, feeling pretty good after it gets checked around on the flop. And sure enough, his barrel takes the first pot of PLO. He is your chip hey, leader now, there. having swapped 50, spots 50, with Zolotel. 50, 50 and 50. Keep it out of the boxes. 
Alezra certainly was very eager to get back into the live mix streets after being sequestered during that brutal quarantine, thanks to COVID-19. I want to get a hammer in so good, I say it just dropped out of my hand. Once he got vaccinated, he popped right back in. And it was kind of a brief period for most who waited until they got vaccinated with the masks and the plexiglass. They seem to come down in very short order, one behind another. Have you played any live poker out in Los Angeles, oh, Maria? Since, uh, Let me just get home Actually, I have not. I was just going to ask you, have. though. Have you been I, getting out there in the streets? More than <laughs> I ever have. Chomping at the bit. Double paired, aces and fours. Sklar potting it to 175. And bluff him on the flop. And Kranu flats with the King Jack 10 8 and diamonds. A lot of interference I've for Zolotow. Way better. Way better. And for Steve, it's only another 75K here, Maria, with the upside of being able to get Sklar out of there and not let him spin it up. Yeah, definitely One the type of more. hand that I would get involved cool. in in Steve's cool. position. I take it back, not 75, but one and a quarter. He's only in for 50. Maybe Miracle. His 50 for the big blind ante, of course, does not count. Nick Schulman. Where's Nick? Two kings and a five. Negranu, <laughs> flopping trips, disaster for Sklar. My turn? All in. And he sticks it all in there. Is there a need to do that, Maria? I mean, he's left himself so few it's chips behind, obviously, stats, that he's effectively I'm committed <laughs> free. And I got big problems unfortunately, <laughs> he already <laughs> knows he has <laughs> problems. Say, but no, Dan, yeah, I didn't do. Say no. Huh? Big problems? Okay, I'm going to get, you get out of your way. Yeah, I have a king. Then you win. You're going to win. Well, you got aces, so you're not really going to oh, win. Oh, it's over? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you got aces. He's got and problems. fours? You have all these outs, aces and fours. Uh, yeah, you think they're just going to peel a four off there? And he didn't have any of your outs. He didn't? No. And I had some of his outs. I had a jack and a two. I don't need outs. Here comes the <laughs> elephant. <laughs> they help. They, they deactivate the fours if you had an out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Clark. Looking for the oh, elephant, wow. my goodness. You, you just cry and Holy cry. Holy shit. Can I get by one more? just cry and cry and boom back. Wait a minute. Can I get by one more? What's he need to beat me? A million things. Just a king, eight, jack, eight, or a ten. Eight, ten, or jack, or a king. How am I going to overcome that? Wait a minute. <laughs> Stop it. You win it. And Sklar fades Daniel's wow. outs after binking. Force wow. full on the George. turn. That's yeah. unbelievable. So just a runner, runner, three, three. He's walking on here. He's walking Wow. On the they can't get rid of him. He's walking on there. That's what he does. Wow. <laughs> Sackstrom <laughs> begrudgingly identifying Sklar's run good to avoid being good. eliminated. It was running threes Mirror. instead eight, and now the four burger Mirror. on the turn. Yeah, I feel like Sackstrom might be regretting three. saying he wanted Sklar to win this because now Sackstrom is in the, the bottom and chip position and he was really hoping for a pay jump. I told him in advance to get one of those things to kill the four power. Huh? I told Daniel to get a jack or a ten to kill the, your four yeah. power, but he didn't listen to me, you know? I give people good advice, they never listen. It's hard to imagine why. Oh, <laughs> It's the second one, right? Well, uh, it's so um, because I figured, I you know, no clue. What, what chance did I have anyway? You free rolling, buddy. What Three diamond on the river. Plus, if you'd been here, runner, runner, diamonds to be, win with a five. I mean, he had, he had, no and pair against two pair on fifth street. And if you'd been so. here on time, you. But I did have a low draw too, if didn't I? If you'd been here well, on time, street, you would have broken. You had no low draw. You had cards. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Oh, just call me lucky. <laughs> yeah, that's what we are. Believe it or not, Maria, that triple up for Sklar left him ahead of Eric Sachs. Raise for my friend Daniel. Eric, now the short stack. Meanwhile, Negrano attacking from the button. A 7 5 4 with clubs. He flops the flush draw. Lesser, meanwhile, with a pair and an open ender. Both players checking. 
Alezra makes the nuts on the turn. How much in the pot? 275. Daniel with sevens and fives. Yeah, 275. Daniel also has that flush draw from the flop, so he's got a lot to work with. course there's always the possibility that if he made his flush it wouldn't be good it's a sizable chunk of Daniel's stack to continue here but he does and you could see him doing some accounting before dropping off as you put it a sizable portion of his chips behind in an effort to fill up or make a flush and he does make that flush on the river here we'll see how Alezra chooses to react it seems like a snap check is warranted and has been delivered Daniel now moves all in. And the significance of the amount that Daniel called on the turn certainly suggests that he has the clubs here. Yeah, I think that Ellie knows that Daniel not only had the flush draw, but must have been working with something else to be able to call that size bet on the turn. So for all those reasons, this seems like the worst card. As Dole said, everyone have to get bluffed once in a while. or make a good lay down, as the case may be. As the four-time bracelet winner. Here it comes, boom! Seeds to the <laughs> six-time bracelet winner. He knows if he sees the seven of clubs. It is enough. <clears throat> you were unlucky there, sir. Hmm? You got unlucky. You know, this is this You're is not kind calling of, the river this anyway. This is really strange I had two pair too. playing with everybody. I a, but I wasn't going to call the river yeah. if I didn't what? fill up or This is kind of strange. Maybe I was going to try to bluff that you're always Queen or rooting. King, maybe. Yeah. I made my mind club call. But the difference from now to the first is not like. Out. But if you come a Queen a or a King, I might have just yeah. said screw it. Yeah. And then maybe a you have king? to. So that's why it's okay. You get a jack with it, so. Uh, 20, right? 25. 25? Yeah. And 50 and 50. Daniel up to almost 1.2 million. 23 bigs. Sackstrom, double suited King Jack 5 4. Doesn't want to go with it. A little too snug, Maria, right up front? Right. These, these cars are nice. Yeah, I think yeah, it's just huge. not yeah. quite yeah, good enough. Big, I like mean, he's yeah. on the short stack, RFI, so RFI he RFI could RFI afford RFI to maybe be a little around. bit there's more some, liberal yeah, with the type of hands he decides whatever. to go with, but I do think that so that's just a little bit too weak. Alezra tried to sneak in there from the small, and Sklar gave nothing. him a finger wag. I've seen worse. <laughs> Uh, and vice versa. Yeah, I wouldn't live for days. So when's the last time you had a chance to play live mix? No, I wouldn't live for days. Live mix? Know. Gosh, I mean, not, not since pre-pandemic. Um, I've played a little bit a of live no limit hold'em, but really um, haven't dabbled much in mix lately. So Been this. Been playing mix online at all? A little bit. Sure. And watching this is definitely making me want to get back yes, in. I give you full double up if I bet the flop. You bet the flop. Shoot right. me in text next time you go. Right after this. <laughs> oh, if you bet the flop, Danny. I'm talking oh. to you. Oh, if I bet the flop, yeah. You bet the flop or I bet the flop, I give you a full double up, yeah. Well, what can I do? I'm not, there's no street that I can get away from. Yeah. But I don't, I think I could have. That's the problem. <laughs> we'll, we'll never know. Good that. players we'll never rebound know that. off, of, off no, of hands, we'll off of tough beats. And that's what you just did. Six of hearts, you saw that. Didn't. Six, it's fine. Six sorry, so hard. Yeah, oh, yes. I'm sorry. Yeah, they still two hands there. Yeah, sorry. That's it. I didn't realize 20. Jack nine tray, all diamonds here as Sagstrom flops the queen high flush with set fishing, double paired. Nines and threes for Daniel. I don't want that. I want a win. Obviously, I understand. What do you have left? And this is one of those things where Daniel might imagine that Eric's range, just having checked back the big blind, is 
so broad. One twenty-five more. Yeah. This wet board texture. Maybe the nines and threes get in there. And yes, indeed, Daniel wants to take his shot. Yeah, with all those draws possible, okay. Daniel felt oh, pretty good draws. with his two pair. And he's yeah. going to put Plus Eric the all in. Yeah. Now, did I mistakenly say Saxstrom had flopped the flush under the impression that it was Jack High Diamonds and you just sat there and let me do it? I actually just believe everything you say and I never double check sure. your work, so. <laughs> oh, you know, that's what I was doing. I knew that he hadn't flopped the flush. You wanted to see if I corrected you. Okay. Look at all those outs for Saxstrom. 14 of them to be exact at the top of the board. Plenty for Daniel to hmm. fade. Deuce of Clubs is a big blank. Queen four or diamond, yeah. Now 16 outs twice, or 16 outs once rather for Sagstrom. Can he stay alive? No. Right, the ten of hearts yeah. on the end our man there. It was a pleasure, makes sir. him yep. officially our first casualty, improbably our man. ahead of Richie Sklar. I yep. wanted a queen or four so bad there. <laughs> About a diamond. Hi, Eric. See you. Eric no will take down $54,400, but obviously he'll be a little disappointed not to be able to continue his session look at, look with the boys. Nick. George? Now, you may have heard this term George on multiple occasions out of this crew. It's one that Richie utilizes with great frequency, and the etymology is apparently that back in the day, in the pits in the casino, when a big tipper, a whale, would step in, the dealers would refer to that individual as George. And somehow it has evolved to reference a gin card or a great situation. And they've taken it all over the place. On the golf course, you drop one within a few feet of the cup, George. I like it. I'm going to start using it, but why George, though? That part I never figured out. Maybe the first guy <laughs> was actually named George, and then everybody else became a George in his honor. Oop. Warm chips. during the Pot Limit Omaha broadcast with Brandon Shaq Harris. He took poker slaying to whole new heights as he has come up with a myriad of terms yeah. for whole cards and combinations of whole cards and draws. And what was your it was favorite dizzying. one? That could well, stick. I, I personally christened Ace's problems. <laughs> And so being able to say I got problems when you have aces and PLO makes me happy because <laughs> so often they do present problems. Meanwhile, picking up the action, Alezra made it 105,000 to go in the cutoff. Negranu defended. Both players checked the queen trade deuce board. Nine on the turn, third club. Negranu with the gut shot and top pair, a massive favorite against Alezra's disconnected holding. That's 75. And an easy fold <coughs> in four parts. Of the eight games in the mix, Maria, what is the one that you think? Well, what's your favorite? What's your least favorite, first and foremost? I think that my favorite is triple draw. Or, I mean, I think people expect me to maybe say No Limit Hold'em, but I get to play No Limit Hold'em all the time. Right. So that's why I'm going to go with triple draw. Um, but my least favorite would be the one that I think I am the worst no at, which is Daniel. seven no card no stud no high. No <laughs> because that's just Daniel. not a variant that I play very you often. Put that in your ears and when you were there's actually night. quite a big edge that you can have when you are very experienced <laughs> in that game. In stud, the additional <laughs> street of betting. Richie. It's the wow. I dream the elephant. And the one winner I'm aspect. I believe it. And, and then one of them bent down for me to get on them, and that's when I woke up. After they stepped on my stack. So you last mounted night. an elephant last night? Is that what After they stepped on my stack <laughs> last night. Okay, it's one fifteen total. <laughs> Elezra loves Richard stud William high. Doubling me up. Do not Here he is at PLO, Zizi. raising it up again. Zizi. Zizi top. Call. 
call, 115. Steve defends his big, has a nine and two tens. Who knew I'd be the young gun in one of these tournaments? Along with the clubs, <laughs> Jack Ford Deuce. Wow. Wow, Daniel, you're way the young gun here. Out like flops Zalatau. Three what? 46. 46. And you're with what? The heart draw on top pair, he pots it. No hearts, <laughs> no, heart, no Jack. I'm, I'm <laughs> 68. And, and Ellie, 60, how old are you now? 60. 60? I turned 60 three months ago, yeah. And 76. So I'm like. 76 you know, from seven bones. months ago, November. And Richie, you're 81? <laughs> yeah. You look good for 81. Yeah. That, that's, you his, do. that's his golf score. His yeah. average because golf if is 81. If 81 was my golf score, I'd be broke. Last thing if I live in Omaha. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> With all the weight I gotta give up. Now, since I came to town 15 years ago, Daniel, my game is 10 shots not uh, worse. Well, hey. You know, you get older, it's, it's way different. But how old are you? 68. Okay. Wow. So you could still shoot your age on a good day? Scrambling, I can shoot it easy. What would you do if it was up to you? I'm looking. I'd throw it in the shit house. Oh. Raise 100,000 total. Ace King 10 6 for Negranu. Makes it 100K. Min raise. The cards in this call. In fact, I'll bet I can shoot 68 scrambling. Yeah, it's I would bet on you also. 68's a win. Zolotow with a very similar hand to Daniel. Not close. But has now, a, nut a worse ball scramble. spades working. A worse ball scramble, I wouldn't Good bet on 100 now. Couldn't break 100? I, I shot 86 worse ball scramble one time in a tough course. It was the best round of my life. 10 7 5 with a couple of clubs. Zolotow with 10s now. and 5s. Alezra with top pair, gut shot, straight draw, and the nut clubs. A significant favorite over Zalatau. Pots it, 350K. Now Negranu with top pair himself. Mulling it over. Does have the issue of Zalatau behind him. And doesn't make a meal of it. Sending it into the muck. Not going to be as easy for Steve Z, though. No, definitely not. But it will be hard to continue on a lot of turns. Obviously, you know that... Ellie could be working with the flush draw, but also could have a lot of straight outs, wrap yeah. possibilities. We have action, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Steve makes the call. Six of hearts on the turn. And it's a binky Million as a Lesra makes the eight high straight. Okay. <laughs> I'm only. One million fifty thousand. Second nut straight, pots it again, and Steve has to know these tens and fives are really not in good shape at this point. Yeah, the only thing he could beat is a flush draw. I don't think he expects Ellie to be doing this with over pairs. Usually have to have sets or straights here, and is going to wisely give it up. Oh, very nice, Mr. It wasn't Eli. exactly the run out I wanted. <laughs> game change. And you hear Steve say it wasn't the run out that he wanted, but PLO is one of those games that does require tremendous forethought. You have to be asking yourself, how many cards on the turn will allow me to proceed? How many cards are favorable? We know the 5 and the 10 were good. But a huge portion of the deck leaves you having to check fold in the face of a big bet on the turn. And if that's the case, why invest on the flop? You're not obligated. Right. right, I mean, it's so easy for so many cards to look, quote unquote, bad for your hand in PLO, given the fact that every player starts with four cards. But, you know, in that situation, I think Steve wanted to see and decide, and one of those bad cards came out. I mean, and I, and I don't know that the King High Club was. I might have had Ace of Spades and Low Spades. George! I had the King of Clubs for sure. Ace, eight, four, ten. With ace ten of clubs. I had ace ten also. Everybody How about that? Moving on and, uh, to my uh, personal uh, favorite uh, game in this yeah. mix. Yeah. Unbelievable. I <laughs> you love the deuce no, as well. I might be lying to you. I like you deuce to seven George triple draw very much. You have the king of high club with the two pair. If you make like three four, like you have a six seven ice tight and a club, you probably have to go for it. 
It is the kind of game, however, Maria, where I do think yeah, like three, four, three, tournament three, iterations play far more straightforward than the cash New version of the same game. Well, if it had been a spade, Second draws in position in particular where exactly things get very interesting. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, yeah. A lot of times you're raising without having a pat hand and trying to ensure that the player out of position well, when leading into you does not have the opportunity sure to pat in front. Stuff like that I don't envision happening with this the same frequency the, here. The crew to do this game with the card. It's, it's not even easy for us. I will also clear the spots because you have to, yeah. Oh, you put these in the? Yes, right there. That way they can see it. The technology okay. subtracts. Throwing those two. Nagrano. Okay. I have experience already. I yeah, see that. <laughs> 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 Unless you're defended yeah. with deuce, five, six. Them, and then you go ahead and sweat it. Okay. He has hit a four and Nagrano. a jack. <laughs> <laughs> with that convertible jack, he leads out for 60K. Negranu unimproved to his deuce four eight calls and will draw two once more. Wait, wait, I make sure As I didn't expected. keep a pair. No, I'm good. Okay. And Alezra goes to a one card draw. Does have the gut shot straight draw. Straights and flushes do count against you in this particular game. And Alezra has now paired, as has Negranu. I didn't look. I see that. <laughs> it's not the first time he's played. You Daniel know, he with a smooth 86 draw. He, he paid more attention than anyone in the table. Very anyone. often see players Call. just go ahead and fire when they're ahead in terms of the number Negrano. of cards look. they're drawing. <laughs> yep. I think, I think I need one. It's a game wait, where wait, smoke wait, betting wait. is permissible. You need one, you need one. More need so one. than maybe any <laughs> other. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel ushering Ellie into a draw one. And on occasion, you could see no a player one, huh? pat a no. hand like that and try to snow Watch it. it. In the <laughs> tournament, Boom -ba. Boom -ba. however. Boom -ba. I already had that one, had that one, already had that one. Boom -ba. That's David Gray, yeah. not me. Not so much. And Alezra, yeah, having made the 10-6, decides to lead Boom out, and both of us have a little bit of a feeling yeah. about that choice. Oh, yeah, I think, uh, I mean, I think when you have a player you. drawing one going into the last draw and oh, wrong card. is in position uh -huh. against you, uh -huh. I think wrong card means I can 10 low call. is more of a bluff Not catcher raised. here than anything. <laughs> okay, 9 or 10. No good. Come on, 9 or 10. Who you, who you're playing with? Like, a 9 or 10 is going to be good. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Nine or ten. I mean, the only merit to maybe leading with the ten is if you believe yeah, that your opponent will shed some of their the made nines on the river. But generally the speaking, yeah. a good ten like that, I you want to turn into a bluff catcher in the event Daniel decides <laughs> to get frisky, having jack. paired top pair or made a straight or something. Seen my life. Jack, jack, jack. <laughs> yeah. That's not usually but good in triple you draw. Make, you, make, you step out with a jack and then I help the river. Yeah. Jack, no good. Jack, no good. Yeah. You know what, what, what make me feel good? Nagrano. What's that? I will check your bed. I call too, so it didn't make any difference. Yeah. Of course. Of course. So Daniel's rough 8 7. Give me a second. Called and took the pot. Before you start the clock, please. I don't need a second. Okay. Three, six, seven. Three parts to a seven low, but of course, <laughs> the issue. You change them up, see if you get a good I'm one. I'm thinking here. I feel you're leaving I'm home thinking. without a deuce, the key card, it's to allow you to make a 30, seven. 30,000 more to me, right? You need three or four. And only you'll end two. up with a straight wow. draw if you hit a four or a, a five. Too. You got the nine six five. Yeah, and I five, think six, that's seven. one of those types five, of hands six, where Boom in a cash game, if you were dealt that on so the you button, just I'm you might just get call. involved. But again, in tournaments, <laughs> just gonna call. you checking. do want to play better starting hands. <laughs> that's a lot of fucking points in there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I got 50. How much you got? I got blackjack. Oh, I got 50. Give me a whole new hand. <laughs> draw five for Daniel. I'm playing there, double draw. There. Oh, sorry, yeah. yeah. I'm playing. The spot I know there's, there's no there. spot for the. I have they don't, people don't draw five. I have a chance. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing double draw. He gets triple draw. It's fine. This is deuce to seven triple draw, right? Here comes the wheel, Richie. Probably for you. Mm -hmm. Five, two, five, one, wheel. That's how we're gonna do it. You first, Richie. I'm looking. 
Could we ever have a now, Sklar is unimproved, but he did pair the seven, which well, gives him a little information. How much? Yes. Times. But 60. against a five draw, he must Richie? lead. You can have this one. Don't, 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 don't bet. Go. Don't waste our time. Let's go. Next. Why should well, you have a oh, he's like, I got a cash no, game no, to go no, to. No, I just <laughs> to see more hands on 50 yeah, points. Kings and queens with all kinds of props. I would have made all that kind of money. Do I have to put in two of these and two of those? I'm probably going to play in Bellagio poker, so that's my appointment, you know. Next, I will not oh, play. Bellagio next? With the w all this I mean, wizard. You, I will not play No Limit with all those wizards. Why not? You, you're good enough. You do your thing. You find out where you're at. It's old school, but hey. Everyone's got their trick. Actually, Z did it in the first event. Well, exactly. Z's 70 or something. You're frickin' no, 68, so you find out where you're at. It's a, it's, a, it's a thing. He's way older than 70, 71. 76. 76, wow. 76 trombones. Yeah, mentioning Steve Zolotow's success no, thus you. far in the USPO. If he were to win today, Ali, I believe he will <laughs> overtake <laughs> Joe McKeon. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Joe McKeon, main event winner. His points shrunk from 50 to, to 14. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. It's so hard to see the cards with these big things here. Cool. Cool. Uh, 120. Throwing that one and that one. And we're keeping these. Me too. I mean, I, this one and that one. Okay. Let me make sure these are the right ones. Okay. Negranu raises from the smalls. Alatau defends. Daniel draws. Picking up an 86 perfect draw. 60. Zalatau, however, unimproved with the deuce four seven. A great starting hand. Cool. Can I let him pick which one of these to throw? Sure. Ellie, pick left or right. Anybody, help. Uh, left right. He said it. He no, said he's one. lucky. Let him pick it. Up either one. It doesn't matter. Let Eli pick it. He's very lucky. L right? He says right. Okay. And pick which one of these two I should throw. <laughs> Eli? Pick you one. have a pair, pick, too? Pick one of these two. <laughs> this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he threw them both. Sure. We're playing for 180,000 up top, Maria, and you would never know it the way these guys no, are just what? being true to self. This is exactly what it's like in mixed games amongst friends. You know what, yeah, Negranu hits a seven. Eric, once or twice. Makes another rough eight, and oh, Zolotow's no, going to no, be trapped in there drawing to number one. two, seven, six, <laughs> four, three, Even deuce. Fishing like four, one. three. No, well, that was unbelievable. Every mixed game, oh. cash game I've ever played in a casino has had that yeah, home game it's vibe it's to oh me, yeah. so even if I don't the know the right or recognize right. anybody at my table. Right. Mm -hmm. So far. Mm -hmm. I check. Okay. See what this guy is. Okay, I'll see I have a feeling I paired sevens. Okay, take it, Danny. Well, we don't take know it, yet, do take we? It, take it, Danny, take it. Indeed, oh, Zalatau did pair the I sevens. Knew my new one coming in was a seven. <laughs> but one of the old ones was a seven. He keeps showing the eight seven six. That's my nah. play. Daniel checking eight, seven, the eight seven nuts. six on the river. Cut your points in half there. Drawing very nice. It was reasonably smooth. And you there. got to assume that your opponent's drawing to a better way, eight than you are in that particular spot, and so you turn your hand into a bluff catcher by checking. Absolutely. Every now and again, I would imagine that you will lead just to make sure you get paid off in spots and you don't cap your range. Yeah, I think you can mix it up between checking and betting sometimes, but you know, it's a very clear situation where when Daniel does check, it's not that he's intending on folding to a bet, but just doesn't feel like it's quite strong enough to bet himself. Well, I'm projecting that I finished third in this tournament. I don't know which one of you guys is fourth, but I'm projecting. Well, you came fifth third. and fourth already, right? Yeah. So do for your third. progression. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I have to put something in here. Give Danny 50. No? What? I want you to give you 50 points again. No, no. Wait, 120? Oh. Staying out of his way this time. Negrano with the deuce tray and a little bit of information, oh, attacking from the button. Alezra with the three card eight draw will defend. And you don't want to be drawing three too often, but of course, 
with 90K up for grabs. He, hell, he knew it was a bluff. I need one. You can open Daniel's two. hand. You certainly don't want to limp. Three. I need three. I need, no. No, no, don't do that to me. You play certainly better than four. okay to be drawing you three draw four all the time. on the button. It still does. <laughs> Forget about all the Lester has already seen does. two eights. Now he has seen two deuces. And information is very relevant in deuce to seven triple draw. It guides your decisions with respect to calling and or snowing. Snowing is table. bluffing, as it's referred to in this specific Did game. Did you ever read on me that I didn't help? Granu no, picked I just, up I like two really like good know. ones on that first draw. It's triple draw. Yep. I thought you did a good <laughs> Five read on the me. six. Okay, one card, please. Alezra drawing oh, two. And those jacks are the kind of hands that you don't check mind padding check. after check, 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 the first check, check, check. draw. I have a read on the second draw, bit. but not here. <laughs> so good. That's why you can make all the big bucks. Negranu pairs the six as Alezra makes an 86 draw. And um, I'm calling. Okay. I was going to bet that was the one. It was like the four were in a nice group here. You're drawing the card? Over there. Yes, sir, right there. Okay, here comes the skill card, as they say, right? Make sure I throw the right one. So weird doing it like this. Okay. How do you decide yeah, which turn, six you want to throw away? I ha I'm superstitious. My turn. So I try you to keep make the it. the Badusi six, the rainbow yes, six? Yes, yeah, how did you course. know? Because that's what we all do, we're all sick. Meanwhile, <laughs> Alezra makes an eight, seven, six. That's kind of Daniel's hand thus far. Negranu, meanwhile, pairs the five. Might be your turn. And in a draw Pretty one, sure. draw one situation on the end in deuce, when you are led into it is somewhat polarizing. You presume that your opponent you has either this made spot anymore, or is that done? <laughs> with that shit. A good hand, or has paired top pair something in that range, made a straight hands that have no showdown value. Third. Right, oh, yeah. and certainly Alessra is, is very capable <laughs> of doing that. I did pairing maybe on the end. I mean, I can only beat sevens. Wow, could beat eights you as got well. Away with one. No, I made. I made a I made it. I made it. You can't make it because we're going to see it. No, I made it. Why would I? He lie? always ligner. I, I made, made a pair of fives. I made your hand. He, Eight, seven. Six, five. Mm. He always ligners. Ducky. I have a ducky in the other. Yeah. And I think you didn't have ducky. Before. I did. I oh, deuce three. Did. I was drawing to deuce three, four, six. Close. Thank you so much. Deuce three, five, six. Can you pair do the five. something good with that. I don't know. Buy a house or whatever. Mm -hmm. Could I get an iced tea, lemon, no sugar? Actually, when you said that, I was ruling to you to have a deuces because I think you called me with deuces or threes, maybe. Fives was tough. It's the same, but it's Five, not. It's, no, it's tough. It's tough. You could say you, you, you got, I only have fours. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I bluff with fours. Bluff with the best hand. So, Ollie, huge turnout for this event. I believe 60 eight entries. Yes, I, I mean, to the point where ODB was tweeting, if you know the rules to six hey, no, out one. of Boom the eight Boom games, Boom you Boom should be coming Almost down here to then. the Poker Go studio to play this Almost. event. See, what do you I, make I of that? No, you well, first and foremost, mm, Alezra wouldn't have minded some action with this yeah. deuce three, six, seven from the jump. But he gets none as he raises and takes it. You know, there had been some speculation amongst uh, my crew as to how many right entries now? they would get okay. in this particular oh, event. Oh, um, no, your favorite and originally, I think they expected more. People thought there would be maybe around 100 uh, entries. Not uniques, per se, but entries. Um, so certainly, the 68 is a step down from that. But uh, nevertheless, showing a lot of enthusiasm are all of the players, in particular because you have that overall trophy, the Eagle and the 50K, or the top performance in the U.S. Poker Open as you look at the upcoming schedule. 10K, no limit. PLO, no limit again. Then a little bit of short deck on the 13th, followed by the home stretch where we dial it up to 25 and 50K. No limit hold'em events, which will give us some real sweat as people can come back to claim the overall title. Tremendous amount of enthusiasm being demonstrated for the U.S. Poker Open. It feels like summer camp all over again with the absence of the World Series, which is where we would typically find ourselves this time of year, Maria. It's a welcome respite. You do this when he's on a rush. Quarantine and online play.
crappy card. Because I knew you don't flap a five. <laughs> yeah, you were playing. <laughs> on you, your, well, you were playing blockers before blockers was, was a thing. what he did on, on one hand. Minimum. He started with a pair of nines versus uh, trip trip deuces in stud. No, twenty. Oh, it's bringing us twenty-five for thirty sixty. What is and they it? really did this bizarrely. Bringing his 25. You know, you, you're right. Oh, yeah. huh. It's so, the one, the no limit blur. Yeah, I got so it high. Time. I didn't look so at it. High. We're talking about the so structure and feeling like maybe the no limit right? hold'em and, and the PLO blinds and are a little too high worst. relative to the limit. That's a good story. I Games, I have a set of deuces. It's really hard to perfect up, a mixed By game action, tournament structure. Cap, recap, beep, bop, boop. He started with a pair of nines. He did not make a straight. He did not make a flush. And he did not catch a nine, and he beat me. Oh, he got the old 10-10-10? Uh, 6-6. Six, ten, ten, ten. Six, six. Uh, six, six, six on fifth six, And the pot was that big, and it was only, I think... He, you had about six. the hand you're supposed to, nine. Six, yeah, six, six. Six, six, six. <laughs> He caught six six. And the, this is the one I think I won. It was all five people in for maximum bets on all street. We have transitioned to stud high. It was just playing 6120 with the 10K ante. Negranu will bring it in with split deuces. A this defendable Daniela? holding. I mean, I already have the freaking money in. Danny. Yeah. Tough hey, six. I have to. Right. I already have half the bet. Any two cards is good. Lesra playing the strength of his up card. Yeah, I've heard about him. Yeah. You got the Dali. Everybody have a lot of fun. And that nine of spades on 4th <laughs> Street is going to look relevant dolly. to the sorts of ranges that Lesra would be completing it with. In stud, we assume I'll three suited ready. hands, Any split pairs, wired pairs, and three straights are the holdings that will be completing. <laughs> you and think Fifth so? Street puts a nail in the coffin of those ducks I got for good Daniel. Start, look. You yeah, yeah, yeah you had a beautiful fucking hand. You took the lead. <laughs> I didn't look, obviously. <laughs> I had the deuces. I told you that that's my best game. You guys just might as well ante up and just give me the fucking chips. Okay, good. And leave. <laughs> Zotalak. Uh, yeah. That's how you yeah, yeah. My chair is collapsing. My chair is collapsing. Z. Steve Z. Yeah, but how my you chair is giving it? out. My no, chip. It depends Daniel's on mom the from the same place that you are. You are probably in Eastern Europe. Well, mine were Russian, but it's it's like the Russians say my well, name. My mother was born in Transylvania, Brasov, which is like right on the border okay. of Hungary and Romania. My. The Russians pronounce my last name Zolotov. Zolotov. <laughs> Zolotov. Oh, he did it with an he's accent. He's, he's better. He's he the best playing. with the accent. Nobody yeah. like Daniel with the accent. I beg to differ, Ellie. <laughs> Quarter? Yeah, you <laughs> could give Daniel a run for, for his time. money. His Jamaican Steve accent is Zolotov. very on point. But I just say Zolotov. His Scotty Wynn accent is know. bar none the Let best me out wake there. Up with something here. Wake up. It is refreshing what happened? when bearing witness to I bet 25 he made a mixed a tournament okay. Okay. I'm not to see just how social the guys are capable of being, right? Because right. in these no limit tournaments, right. it just there's okay. really no upside to giving anything away whatsoever to communicating. But in these games, mm -hmm. a lot of times Pulling it's just self-evident what needs to be done. Tournament. And so there's a little bit more relaxation. But specifically amongst this crew, I think, all of whom are familiar with one another for so many years from playing across different decades and poker rooms. As you see, Sklar picking one up with the re-raise. Lesra was getting frisky. I'm happy he folded. He's level to have something to catch three sixes. <laughs> yeah, as commentator, I, I certainly we want to add a little bit of oh, I can play some strategy some into this, but you don't want to be talking over oh, some of this stuff. You know, they always nine. tell really great <laughs> stories. No, they're, they're always giving each other a love. little bit of smack talk. Alina Judge is now looking and saying, what the heck he raised with? <laughs> <laughs> the same stuff that he's been beating me with mm -hmm. in the mixed game since I got to Vegas. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ellie often says, I'm I love stud players. and stud loves me. I'm not playing my cards. <laughs> That's what Daniel I'm playing does. My His cards. results... <laughs> In I stud games uh, should uh, certainly uh, reflect uh, that. You're, you're missing this one. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. You did the tom to him. 
Arez Nagrano. I see that. Daniel brought it in with the deuce of clubs. I'm going to wake up with something every once no, in a while. No, Dan Daniel, stop it. Johnny <laughs> Ligner. I put you on three cards. Playing back so at him far. with the three suited clubs. And Maria, this is designed to allow for representation on further streets that don't include clubs, such as this one, the Six of Diamonds. Problems for Daniel, though, as Ellie is binked a 10 here. Respects that Daniel could have a wired pair bigger than the 10s. He checks it, and then he, he runs a little test here with the check raised to 120K. Negranu forced to call, getting the right price to try to pick up Give the club draw, jack or a king. And it's important to note that Negranu just calling there doesn't mean that he can't <laughs> have a bigger hand. Sometimes people like to slow play till the big to bet streets the with a big pair, potentially trips. No, he just got upset because he's talking to the cards. <laughs> <laughs> now you notice that when the door we card pairs, oftentimes we are wary of trips, but in this specific instance, you they don't expect Daniel to have a deuce the in the hole. And so Ellie's call at me for? is in part just designed to make sure that Daniel is kept honest. The two tens might be good. <laughs> like he's in a bed there. And even if Daniel okay, has I wired kings or queens. I know you know. You could have picked diamonds sure. and all kind of things. Lots of cards. And you ask for duck. Yeah, even we're both Jack. Check, because we're friends. He was Ellie has that ace. And Very key card actually, to making aces there. up. Now I have to look and see. If I catch something good, I'm going to... And he binks that ace to make the aces Why up a like huge good. hand in stud. <laughs> did you give him the... You <laughs> check blind on my bed blind. I don't know. You like, I caught that check. one. You did. Negrano was unable to improve and decides to check back. This is where I could do the Puggy Pearson thing and be like, okay, well, you know, I caught this, so this is where I can go quick. I call, I call. I'm call not you. doing it. I'm not doing it. No. You, you win. Take your money. I got a buried aces. What do you think I have, oh, man? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. What See? do you want for my life? <laughs> That's it? You didn't make two pairs? <sighs> Obviously, I lied. I didn't have any aces. I hit my... He oh, he hit the 10. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had three lied. clubs. King, Jack, and yeah. Daniel, I'm better than you in studs. I see that. Okay. He, he, he always lies. Johnny Wigner. Ace, 10, 3 Did you see? I caught what you yeah. did.